Hello friends, this is Pinoy Blade Hunter and for this episode we are going to have a tabletop review of this little beauty, the Moro Gunong or Punyal. It's a traditional dagger. This one is 9 inches. 9 inches from end to end or 23 centimeters for those in the metric system. This is an older blade as you can see from the design. The wood used in the handle is banati. Banati wood if you can see. There the graining. The pattern on the wood, it's kind of dark because of its age. And here also is Banati. <coughs> the scabbard is also made with Banati. The blade is a pattern welded blade. Sanmai if you, if you know. Sanmai in Japanese. Uh, three layers. Uh, you can faintly see the line where the soft steel is encapsulating a harder steel inside there. You can see uh, here. There. This is a harder steel. This is a softer steel. There you go. And what I like about this blade is just it's so handy. You can hold it like this. The butt of the handle rests at the base of your palm. Like that and you hold it like this. So it's ready for you to grab something and to slice it or to do something utilitarian like opening a package. Like cutting some paper. I didn't sharpen this. I didn't sharpen this knife. So, for example, if you have a piece of paper like this and you want to cut it, the base of the handle rests as the base of your palm, and you hold it like this. So you can stab the paper. slice it. It's not as sharp. It's not sharp. But you can sharpen it if you want to. These pieces right here are silver or a silver alloy. What's interesting about this blade is that you can disassemble it. I bought this blade in an antique shop in Manila. So you can disassemble the butt and the butt cap. I don't know what that's called. This is a rattan retention ring. And then this is a silver collar. The silver collar has a ring at the back side here. So you can attach a belt loop or a belt insert, a string, piece of string, a rope. So you can attach it on your belt on your, on your side. It's silver. And now you can see that the construction of the scabbard is a two-piece construction. Like this. It's banati wood. Assemble it. Tension ring. The 
hot end. Okay. There you go. The Moro Gunong or Punyal. It's one of those utility blades that you can see in the olden days. They have it; they carry it on their waist, on their belts, on their sides, so that if they need to cut something or to uh, poke something or to stab something, they are always ready and they always have it with themselves. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos here on Pinoy Blade Hunter. Until next episode, bye-bye!